Welcome, my dear student, to the Commercial Subject Group, Level 3, with Account 212. Today, our chapter is Chapter 5, about the plant assets disposal. Our learning objective is reversing periodic depreciation. Secondly, the distinguish between revenue and capital and account for them. Thirdly, explain how to account uh, for the disposal of a plant assets. And we will finalize with compute periodic depletion of natural resource. Let us start with reversing periodic depreciation. In our example, AHD company used a straight line method depreciation for a machine was purchased on January. The cost of 42,500 with an estimate five years life and 2,500 salvage value. At the beginning of the fourth year, AHD company determined that the machine has three more years of remaining useful life. After which, it have a salvage value of 2,000. What required from us, my dear student? We are required, firstly, to compute the machine book value at the end of the third year. Secondly, it's required to compute the amount of the depreciation for each of the final three years given to revise estimated. Now, my dear student, let us see the answer. In our question, the useful life is five years. After they finish three years, they decide to give more years, more three years. So, now, just I used three years. The remaining was two years, and they extended to the third year. First, I should find the depreciation expense for the first three years. How can I get the depreciation expense? I will take the cost. I will subtract the salvage value from it, divided by the years, the total years at the beginning, which is five years, useful life. I will find the depreciation with amount of 8,000. Shifting to find the accumulated depreciation for this three years, I will take the depreciation per year, multiply it with the three because I want it as accumulated. So I will get 24,000. Finally, I should find the book value. The book value, as I know, I should take the cost. I will subtract from it the accumulated depreci depreciation. So I will find the book value of the amount 18,500. Then I should find the depreciation for each of the remaining year. How can I find it? I will take the book value that I find it before. I will subtract the revised, the revised salvage value that they are given give to, to me, which is 2,000 and I will divide it by the revised remaining useful life. When I apply this formula, I will take the book value, I will subtract the new salvage value they give it to me, I will divide it by the revised useful life, which is three years, and I will get the depreciation of 5,500. Shifting to distinguish between the revenue and capital and account for them. We will explain it more in more details in our example. In the first example, Ahmed Kambani incurred and paid maintenance and repair cost of 800 of a machine on February. How can we write this entry? I incurred an expense, so my expense will increase with amount of 800 and it will affect the debit side. If I pay this expense, so my cash will decrease and it will affect the credit side with the same amount. In the next exercise, AHD company pays the amount of 6,500 to add agent power of 3,000 cc. They paid this amount to increase the power of the track. So they increase it from 3,000 to 5,800. This result increased the useful life and the salvage value in the future. 
So how can we write this entry? If I increase the benefit from my assets, so the assets will increase. So my track will increase with amount of 6,500 on the debit side. If I pay this amount to increase the benefit from my assets, so the cash will decrease with the same amount and it will affect the credit side. Moving to the disposal of a plant assets, firstly I will start with the retirement of the plant assets. In my example, Ahmed retires its computer printer which cost of 18,000. If I retired, so it's mean that I will cancel this assets. The cost of the assets is 18,000. The accumulated depreciation for this assets is 18,000. Therefore, the full depreciation book with zero book value. So how can we write our entry? If I cancel this assets, so the assets will decrease with the amount of 18,000. And if I cancel it, also the accumulated depreciation will come on the debit side with the same amount of 18,000. This entry will be fixed in case of retire. Moving to the second type, the discard of plant assets. In our example, Iman Company discard the delivery equipment with a cost of 22,000 and has an accumulated depreciation of 16,000. How can we write the entry of the discard? First of all, my equipment will decrease, so it will decrease with a cost of 22,000 and will affect the credit side. Then, the accumulated directly, it will be on the debit side with the figures of 16,000. Then, my dear student, the difference will be recorded as a loss, of dis loss on disposal. Why I write it as a loss of disposal? Because I discard this asset before it's fall depreciated. So, how can I find the figures of the loss? I will take the 22,000, which is on the credit side. I will subtract the 16,000 from it, that on the debit side, the difference will be the loss, which is 6,000. By that, I will make sure that the debit side will be equal to the credit side. So this entry, I will write it on the discard of an asset. Moving to the disposal of plant assets for the sales of this plant assets. We will take it in more details in our example. On July, Salman Kambani sells office equipment with a cost of 15,000. The office original cost is 15,000 and it's had an accumulated depreciation of 39,000. To compute gain or loss for this sale. First of all, I should find the book value and it will be the original cost minus the accumulated. The original cost of the assets, I have it, is 50,000 minus the accumulated that they give it to me, which is 39,000 and I will get the 11,000 as the book value. When I'm coming to writing of my entry, first of all, my assets will be decreased because I will sell it with amount of 50,000. The accumulated depreciation will be 39,000 on the debit side and the cash that I will receive from this sales, it will be 15,000. Then the amount in each side, it's not equal. So I should find the difference. If I find the difference, I will take the total of the debit side minus the, to the amount on the credit side. If the amount came on the credit side, the difference came in the credit side, it will be a gain. So I will record it as a gain on disposal of the equipment. And if the difference came on the credit side, uh, sorry, in the debit side, it will record it as a loss. 
Moving to the other example, just the difference here to find the loss. If I see the entry, my equipment will decrease and it will be on the credit side. The accumulated depreciation will, will be on the debit side and the cash I will receive it will be on the debit side. If I take the difference between two sides, the difference will be on the debit side and it will be a loss on disposal equipment. Coming to the compute periodic of the natural periodic depletion of the natural resource. In our example, ABC company invests 5 million in a mine estimated to have 10 million ton of coal and no salvage value. If the first years were mined and sold as the following. What's required from us? The required from us to find, to complete the depletion table. Secondly, to prepare the general journal to record the depletion expense. First of all, I should find the depletion cost per unit. How can I get it? By applying our formula, which is the total cost minus the salvage value over the estimated units, estimated, the total estimated units. I have 5 million minus zero of salvage value over the 10 million, which is the total estimated unit. And I will get the depletion cost per unit. Then I should find the annual depletion expense and I will find it by this schedule. Here I should write the period. I should mention the activity unit. It's given on the question. And I will multiply it with the depletion cost per unit that I find it before. So I will take the activity unit, multiply by the depletion cost per unit, and I will get the depreciation, depletion expense. Shifting to the accumulated depletion in the first year will be the same to the depletion expense, and then I will move to find the book value. And I know the, the book value, I find it by the cost minus the accumulated depletion. Shifting to the second, I will apply the same equation on the next periods. Finally, I will end with the last year. I will apply it at the same, but I see that the book value will be at the end as zero. When I'm writing the entry for the depletion, I will increase the depletion expense with the amount of the period they give it. They mention for the first period. So the depletion will be 1,500,000. And the accumulated depreciation will affect the credit side with the same amount to keep it balanced. By that, my dear student, we end our lesson. Thank you for your attention. For more information, you can visit Ministry of Education website and answer the question that you have it on your book.